All right, first graders, now it's your turn to be able to write. So I want you to get out your writing journals. Your writing journals are the journals that we've been writing our sentences in yesterday and today. If you look at my screen, it should have dotted lines just like this. So if you're working in the notebook that does not have dotted lines, that's our math notebook. Don't get out your math notebook. Get out your writing journal. All right, we have, if you need to get your supplies, just pause the video. We have three pictures here. I see a boy. I see reading, which is our verb, right? Something he's doing. And I see a room. So the sentence that I could write, I need to speak it first because I can't just say boy, read, room. That's baby talk. It doesn't make sense. It's not a complete sentence. So, let me move my face out of the way here. So we're going to speak it in a way that we have those connecting words to help it make sense. The boy reads in his room. Say it with me. The boy reads in his room. Let's count how many words will be in the sentence. The boy reads in his room room. Six words. Pick up your pencil. We're going to write the first word, the, with a capital T because it's at the beginning of our sentence. T-H-E. That's a sight word from kindergarten that we want to remember to always spell correctly. The, finger space between your words, boy, b, oi. Oi is a diphthong. Some of you have seen the word boy, so you know it is an O-Y. The, boy. Now when you are spelling words, if you do not know how to spell it, just break it apart. Break apart each sound and spell the sounds you hear. Use the letters that you know that make those sounds. The boy, finger space between your words, reads r, e, d. Build it. R, e, d. S, the Boy reads, finger space, in, that's a sight word we know, in, in, in finger space between, his, is, his, is, his, Finger space between your words. The last word is room. If you don't have space on your line, you can jump down to the next line. But if you do have space, continue on with me. Let's build room segment with me. R, U, M. R, U, M. Now, if I'm going too fast, you get to press your pause button anytime so you can stop and catch up. Please make sure you do that especially if you need to stop and use your eraser. Now, I have an editing checklist here at the bottom where I can check my work. First thing it wants me to look for is to make sure I have capital letters at the beginning of the sentence. If I look at the beginning of my sentence, I have a capital T. Do you? Good job. And if I look through the rest of the sentence, I don't have any other capital letters. So I can check that off of my list. I'm good to go. The next thing it's asking for is punctuation. Punctuation is your period. Do I have a period on my sentence? I don't. And periods come where in the sentence? At the end. It's the signal that helps you know that sentence is finished. So that's where I need to put my period. Let me get my pen to work here. Put my period here at the end. So now I have my punctuation. The last, next thing we're checking for is finger space between. So let's check and put our finger space between each word. The, finger space. Boy, finger space. Reads, finger space. In, finger space. His, finger space. Room. I have all of my finger space. Check yours to make sure that you do too. And the last thing we'll do is reread to make sure it makes sense. The boy reads in his room. Looks good to me. I'm ready to go on to the next slide. All right, on this next slide, oops, uh-oh, let me get that out of the way. 
Okay, on this slide, I see three pictures. I see a picture of a dad. I see a picture of something being cooked. And I see a picture of a kitchen. What would be a good sentence for these three pictures? Maybe I could say, instead of starting with the dad, maybe I could start with a dad. A dad cooks in the kitchen. Let's see how many words will be in our sentence. A dad cooks in the kitchen. Six words again. Speak it out loud so you know what you're writing. A dad cooks in the kitchen. Let's build it. Now remember, at the beginning of our sentence, we always start with a capital letter. So capital A for A. Finger space between your words. Dad. Just make sure your D is facing the right way. If you're not sure, check your alphabet that is in the front of your binder to make sure it's not a B. We don't want it to be a bab. We want it to be a dad. Just add. A dad cooks. We're going to have to break that one apart. K -uk. Build it with me. K -uk. A dad cooks. If you need to pause the video to catch up, please do that anytime, especially if you need to stop and use your eraser. Finger space between, in, that's a sight word we know very well, the, finger space between, the, T-H-E. And then the last word is kitchen. We're going to have to segment that one. K Itch, eh, mm. Five sounds. Let's build it. Itch. C H makes ch. Eh, mm. Now, when I look at that word, I'm an adult who's been spelling for a very long time. I know there's a letter missing in there, but it's not a rule that we have learned in class. And these are the sounds that we do know when we hear it. And I want you to feel comfortable that when you hear sounds in a word, you can write the letters of the sounds you hear. You do not have to be a perfect speller in my classroom. This is called phonetic spelling, okay? Now, I don't want to forget the period la like I did last time, so I'm going to go ahead and put my period. And we're going to check off on our list. Capital letters only at the beginning. I have a capital A. Do you? Look through your sentence. Do you have any other capital letters that should not be there? I do not, so I'm going to check it off. Now, punctuation comes at the end of the sentence. I have my period at the end of my sentence, so I can check it off. And now I need to make sure there is space between my words. So you're going to take your finger and put it in between every word as we read to make sure there is space. A. Dad cooks in the kitchen. All right, I have space between my words. If you do not, please use your eraser and make some space between your words. The last thing is to reread it to make sure it makes sense. A dad cooks in the kitchen. I have every word I need. Check your sentence to make sure you do too. Now, I know you love to color, so grab your crayon and draw me a beautiful picture of either the first one of a boy reading in his room or of a dad cooking in the kitchen. I can't wait to see them. Have your family take a picture and send it to me on Class Dojo.